From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Uh, temperatures have been cleared for takeoff today. We have already uh, pushed near 80 degrees here at the lunchtime hour in some spots. We'll be well into the 80s for the afternoon hour. It's going to be a great day to be outside. Uh, as we've been saying, uh, as you would expect, a lot of folks enjoying gathering place today. Crystal clear blue skies. Uh, probably won't see hardly a cloud in the sky in most spots through the afternoon. 77 degrees. Gusty south winds continue, no change there. Relative humidity still in the uh, low 50% range. We'd like to see it the higher the better because that's one thing when the relative humidity is higher that can help at least curb the fire danger somewhat. Uh, but that will be dropping through the afternoon hours, particularly to the north and west of Tulsa. Across most of the state, outside of the Panhandle, it is quite warm, upper 70s and already some low 80s in spots. Relative humidity values are steadily dropping from west to east. Look how bone dry the air is already in western Oklahoma, and that will surge east through the afternoon, at least two about the I-44 corridor to the north and west, again, in areas that have had a tough go, as we know, in recent days with fires already. Today's another great, uh, another, another not so great day, I should say, from a fire danger standpoint. Relative humidity all fa already falling below 40% in Stillwater, Pawnee, Pahuska, 45% relative humidity. I mean, that's better than Friday's critical fire danger day, but this will drop, I think, to 20, 25% in some spots north and west of Tulsa this afternoon. So that's why it's another day where fire danger uh, is a concern. This is the forecast wind gust for the afternoon. Uh, they'll pick back up a little bit. Gusts around 25 miles per hour common. Some gusts around 30 miles per hour, maybe a little stronger. The, if there's any little piece of good news, it's that the, the strongest wind gusts today may center themselves just east of Tulsa, where the fire threat is not quite as high. But gusty enough around Pawnee, Osage, Washington, Craig uh, counties, up into southeast Kansas, that fire spread rates are still a problem. Tomorrow morning, south winds get stronger, and tomorrow afternoon, unfortunately, we're back into that range of gusts, 35, 40 miles per hour, if not stronger. So you can imagine what that will do to fire danger tomorrow. So today, elevated fire spread for a lot of us, but once again, the higher risk is to the north and west of Tulsa. Tomorrow, we're approaching that very high to near critical fire danger risk. Once again, around Pawnee, Osage County, up in the southeast Kansas, where the humidity values look like they'll really drop behind a dry line that surges in. On the flip side of that, on the eastern side of that dry line and storm system is where there could be some storm chances late tomorrow. So let's roll you through this on future view. Again, a big warm up today into the mid 80s. Uh, we won't drop too much tonight. Now, late tonight, there's an outside very, very slight chance that a storm or two across Texas could come zipping up into far southeastern Oklahoma. Not expecting much there, but we'll keep an eye on it for the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, mid to upper 60s, a warm start. And tomorrow afternoon, some morning clouds, afternoon sun shine. We're back into the low to mid 80s. Once again, you notice some storm chances across far southeastern Oklahoma into Arkansas, and that's where the severe threat more than likely will be a little bit higher. Uh, what's going to happen is this storm system tomorrow is pretty similar to the one that we had on Friday, where the strong cap in the atmosphere kind of held thunderstorms at bay for most of the day for us, and then things really lit up to our north and east. That might happen again. But late Tuesday night, out ahead of the dry line, and also as the cold front surges in, that may be our window for some severe storms. And all modes of severe weather would be a possibility in our far eastern counties Tuesday in the late Tuesday night. And then the cold front surges in by early Wednesday morning. That's long gone, and we cool off pretty significantly. So this is for tomorrow, late Tuesday into Tuesday night. There is a severe weather their potential. Again, it's kind of that conditional threat where if the cap holds, we may not see a whole lot. But if storms broke through the cap, they would likely be intense. And yet again, looks familiar, doesn't it? Like last Friday across Arkansas, northern Missouri, uh, Iowa into Illinois. That's where there's another significant threat for severe weather late tomorrow where those folks already, of course, had a rough go of it on Friday. As I mentioned, that cold front sweeps through Wednesday, so notice our temperatures go from the mid-80s today and tomorrow to the upper 50s to around 60 on Wednesday. It'll be a much cooler day. And then a little below normal to wrap up the week, but looking pretty good for Good Friday. And then we should start a warming trend as we head into Easter weekend. Hi.